finally getting my water tank finalized, straightened out. So what I've got is my filler that I mounted. I showed you in an earlier video on the outside. The tube comes in, the water runs down under here and dumps into there. Now I've still got to run a vent tube from that black fitting right there. About that, about that one, okay? And I'm gonna run a little hose up to here. So that's gotta happen. That's not a big deal. Now I am bracing in the uh, white uh, fresh water tank. So I've got some board spacing it away from the wall back here because it needs to be uh, about an inch or so. And then uh, I've got uh, one by, two by two here holding it in lengthwise that way. And I'm putting in this board here that's gonna keep it boxed in that way. What I'm gonna do is lay the shelf on top of it all across and we'll screw, use some L brackets and bolt, screw that shelf to this board here and that will keep that water tank in place. I also have the hose from here to the, through a filter here, a screen to the water pump, 12 volt water pump. And then I've got it going out to just a random piece of PEX tubing right now until I get the sink and everything mounted up. All right, now I got it all, the shelf screwed all in. And you'll see the L brackets down here, holding it in at the bottom. And you'll see L brackets under there, holding it in across the top. I left this gap here to be able to service these hose clamps and the tube if I need to, if I've got a leak or anything I need to service in there, I might be able to service it without having to pull all this out. Hopefully, well, that's the plan anyway. And you're probably wondering about that cutout there in the odd shape of it, the diagonal shape of it. That is for our portable air conditioner unit. I will slide it in and show. What I have here is 11,000 BTU winter portable AC unit. It's dual hose system. I already had it uh, from a previous project and it's quite a bit of overkill for this small trailer. But again, I already had it in stock. I'm not going to give it away or throw it away or sell it. So this is what we're going to go with. And um, this is where it's going to store. It will, the uh, upper shelf will be across the top of it. And this uh, winter has on wheels, rolls right in, rolls right out. We'll be able to use it whenever it's uh, killer hot summer days. Here you can see how the plumbing, I finally got it in the drain fits in with the air conditioner. So I've got my P-trap or S-trap and the drain comes out here and it's one and a quarter inch pipe, PVC pipe and it goes around and it goes behind the air conditioner and comes back around and dumps into the tank, the holding tank. The other one is for a vent that's gonna come out and it's gonna end up somewhere in here in this range it's going to be behind the refrigerator and underneath the shelf, so it'll be out of sight. And all that's got to get done. So on to now, I think our next step is framing out the refrigerator cabinet and this, this shelving unit and cabinet that's going to be right here. Now you can see what I was talking about with the plumbing. That I've got the drain coming down here, coming down here. It goes to the tanks. Well, because the drains stick up about three inches from the floor with inch and a quarter tubing, PVC. So I put some two by four on its edge, which is three and a half inches tall. Made a little box. And I was very careful because I can't screw into the floor along here because that would screw right into the top of the tank, the, black, the gray water tank. So I knew how far away I could be. So I've got one screw um, right there and I've got one screw right there. And the rest of it is just, that that's holding it in place, but the rest of it is just sitting. I could undo a few screws and lift off the whole panel here in order to service the plumbing if it was necessary. 
I also have a notch back here for a vent pipe to come up. That's from the tank also. Now I'll show you what it looks like with the refrigerator on the deck. Okay, now we've got the refrigerator on the deck and we're going to <clears throat> build a shelf above the refrigerator up here. And so the vent tube will come along the wall behind the refrigerator. You can see the bottom of it down there. It'll come up here and be below the shelf. We also have the filler neck and the outlet box. And so we have behind, behind the refrigerator space. And then we've got it at the front. And of course the door will swing out. So we got that taken care of. And pretty much now I've just got to build the enclosure. I'm not pleased with the amount of space I've got around it because that's going to allow it to move around some. So we're going to have to figure out a way to, once we get the refrigerator in there, to fasten it down or wedge it to where it doesn't move around a lot. And now you can see the finished shelf for the enclosure for the refrigerator. See how that's going to work. This is a little deeper than I would like, but it's got to have enough space behind it for all the things that are behind it. And you give up a few inches here to get a few things behind it. I'm still going to have to anchor it. It's got to be anchored down so it won't move while we're driving down the road. We also, what a, a nice little feature that came out of this because I have the 110 outlet behind it is I have a little gap here where you can run power cords up to the power strip here. So that, that was a good little bonus that came out of the deal. So you have a place here for the uh, oven and uh, you have a place over here for food preparation as well. Lots of space, lots of counter space here. Got pretty much most of the construction done now. It's detail work. You can see the refrigerator where it's going to sit. I've got the vent, the tank vent behind it. There's where our range should be sitting. The microwave with the 110 outlets over here. And then we got the sink, the faucet, and some shelves. I also installed some little one touch uh, puck lights. These are battery powered. Um, little lights so that we can see in the dark spots underneath the uh, cabinets so I can service it yeah, without a flashlight necessarily. And this is the cool thing to me is um, we have water. And so this little pump is so cool that it can uh, it turns itself off when you turn the faucet off and it turns itself on when you turn the faucet on that's pretty doggone cool uh, i've got my 21 gallon water tank under there it's eh, about a third full it's about five seven gallons in there something like that and so the sink is draining into the holding tank and everything's working out really well this little faucet also does a little spray and it also comes out for the if that's ever needed pretty cool pretty impressive i put a little on off switch here in our line of sight so that we can know that it's there and that's the setup guys